Hi everyone, welcome to another Greenleaf Terrain Terrain Showcase. I have a set of Autumn Terrain for client um, MS. So we have here a two sets of forests. There is a large open forest stand that has been requested to be split in half so we can still connect together. So you can see that it splits in half and there's a little wavy line through the middle to connect it. Um, there's a small hill two of these small fieldstone ruined pieces, a fieldstone ruined uh, steampunk piece on my website. These small forest stands aren't found on my website, but I priced them out based off this guy. And then there is a objective marker which happens to be the Archer Autumn statue. So I will grab it off the tripod there and uh, we'll check it out because this autumn terrain just, it always looks awesome. So. Hope the client likes it, and uh, I'll show you what's up. So I've just zoomed in on these uh, fieldstone ruins at the front. They have space in behind them for you can stand a miniature behind the wall, or several. And then these small forest stands have a variety of dead trees. Uh, I unfortunately ran out of the orange foliage, clump foliage, so there's quite a few red trees. Uh, and yellow trees, so and the yellow trees got a little bit of mix in them, so doesn't really matter. It still looks really good. Just uh, I was the last of my products, so I got a resupply basically. If anybody else wants some autumn stuff, I will have more product in and be able to make more trees and such. I have a lot of the uh, the flocks still. It's just the tree clump foliage that I'm out of. So there's a variety of different sizes. Um, like I said, there's some dead pines in there. And then this back guy, unfortunately, I kind of messed up when I was putting in the uh, um, the plugs. I wanted to have a big tree on one side and then one of these small trees on one side. So, But it ended up being the two big trees on that side and two medium trees on this side. So, But there ends up being only three trees on that side and there's three dead trees on this side. So it works out that there's enough trees on the overall piece. And then over here, I have the... Fieldstone uh, steampunk ruins. So I just have some some piping going on a little bit through the through the actual guy here. And there's a little valve, and then there's just some fittings coming out of the ground back here. And then there's the archer. He's on a 50 millimeter uh, lipped base. And then there's just the small hill, which is a one inch hill. It's about uh, 8 inches by... or 10, 10 by 8 inches, about that size. So I'll be getting this packed up and shipped out to the client on Monday. That It's the weekend right now, but if you are after some autumn terrain, you can find anything on my website and I can make it autumn for you. The only thing is changing it to the autumn scheme will require uh, custom builds, so there will be a slight um, add on to each piece that you want to make custom or you want to make autumn so not very much money but there is a little bit of a difference because I can't just pull them off my shelves so it becomes a custom order so you can email me at info at greenleafterrain.com if you're interested in talking about a quote um, I get back to people right away and uh, I really want to get people playing with my terrain talking about it to more people so uh, you know, you can work with a budget with me and stuff, so we can get something on your table. So thanks for watching. I'll have more videos to come and some tutorials um, in the next month here. I'll put some tutorials up. So you can go to greenleafterrain.com, check out my products, and again, please subscribe and like the videos if you haven't done that so far. Thanks.